it's been a year just about, I think 11 months or so. Has since, it really? I believe so, wow. October of 21, when wow. you came on the show and told us at the time the very unpopular pick to invest in oil and you provided the, at the time, outlandish prediction that oil would go to $100 a barrel. Now, yeah. the question here is, as because oil has had a great first half of the year and more recently has kind of sold off a bit. And so the question is for you, if we go back to the highs in oil or if we continue to tread water or maybe head lower. So I still do think right now that the, the, the risk of oil prices is much higher prices than there are right now. Um, right. Production is not coming back. Uh, people seem to think that oil production is flip a switch and we can just add a hundred rigs in the Permian and start pumping out another two or 3 million barrels a day. That's just not how it works. You know, this is like an ocean liner. It's not a speedboat. It takes a long time for the industry to restart uh, when it's been shut down to levels like it was during the pandemic. Well, basically a lot of their workers left, left the country. I mean, we're not talking, you know, we're not talking when you got a job at CVS around the corner. They don't exist in this country anymore. They left. Um, and then you added the invasion. And now, you know, people argue now that we are uh, due for a recession and that's going to kill demand. And that I think that's what's driven prices from where they were to where they are right now is this expectation of demand destruction uh, from a recession. Uh, I, I think that is a much less risk than the risk of something, another shock that drives prices significantly higher hmm. or continued irresponsible physical policies out of Washington that flood the markets, right? They flood the markets with dollars and that drives the price higher also. So I think there's a, you know, and we don't know what's going to happen in Ukraine, right? I mean, uh, you know, experts will disagree on what's going to happen, but we all know Putin's a wild card. So we cannot definitively say he would never do A, B, C, or D, right? He, he may decide, hey, it's not going good in Ukraine. Yugoslavia, here I come, right? Or he may, you know, he may decide to open this thing up, in which case we get another uh, shock to the oil markets as there'd be additional sanctions and things like that. 